This is one of those rare days when you pull that car out of the middle of nowhere that everybody thinks doesn't exist and you change history. A Little Red was, was the first. For years, decades, it's been accepted this car was crushed. Everybody just believed it. The fact that they found it and it was out there. The guy wasn't disguising, it wasn't in hiding. I think it's incredible. This has been a, a special time. As we started doing all this research, we started tying parts of it together. Anytime you can find something that has this kind of history and you've got somebody as passionate as Craig Jackson wants to help restore it and do it right, it just continues Carol's legacy and the Shelby legacy. The Shelby DNA and the excitement of that era is what that car historically represents. In my opinion, it's priceless. The DNA that now lives and breathes in all these modern cars, it all began right here. It's an amazing journey of researching these cars. I know people are gonna be shocked when we roll the cover off. Bringing this thing back to life has been a real treat. Everything is as accurate as it can be. Truly a piece of history. Watches really goes to extraordinary means. Part of their theory, the recycled, recovered, reclaimed, really held true to what they wanted to do to what we had just done in restoring these two cars. I think having the Actual pieces of the cars in the P51 rec watches will be a very cool, unique timepiece. This is a piece of history coming back to life. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs>